Hi, I'm Olivia. In a previous video, I talked about my science project and my trifold. Well, today, I'm at the science fair and I'm waiting for a judge to come judge my project. Hi, Olivia. I remember you from um, last year's uh, STEM summer camp. And now today, I'm going to be the judge of your science fair project. I'm going to review your project based on the standard science fair rubric. I'm going to be looking at four categories, okay? your question and hypothesis, your um, data collection, <laughs> your creativity, and your overall presentation. I have some questions for you. Why did you choose this topic? Well, I love baking bread and I didn't want it to spoil. And I was very curious if the water levels would affect mold growth. Okay, well please discuss your scientific question. I wanted to see how water levels affected mold growth on organic bread. I kept the storage conditions stable, light and temperature constant, and I wanted to focus on the impact of water levels on the mold growth. And what influenced you in forming your hypothesis? Just my curiosity on what was what, and my love for baking bread. My shout out to my cool science teacher, Miss Shayana, who helped me apply the scientific method. How did you collect your data, and um, do you think you could have done a better job? Yeah, I could have, but I did a visual ins inspection and comparison of each test sample. So why did you test only one type of bread? There are so many types. It's the only bread that my family eats. But good point, I will include different types of bread in my other studies. I really liked your project. Um, have you considered how packaging and transportation might uh, be involved and are there any other variables that might influence mold growth? Wow, that's a good question. When I was doing my experiment, the bread needed to be really dry. And for transportation, this is a great thing to include. I will include this in further experiments. Excellent organization on your unique poster. I thought I wasn't going to be able to read it, but I could. How did you create this? My teacher gave us different resources, like computer software that helped me design this. I had so much fun organizing and creating this poster. Thank you so much, Dr. McKinley, for reviewing my science fair project. Your feedback was so helpful. I appreciate your time. And thank you, Olivia, and everybody else that participated in the science fair. And I look forward to seeing you next year. Thank you.